Yeah, this is a particularly uh, important Water Week for SEI because of the theme being water and food security. And those are areas where we as an institution have a lot of capability. Um, but if you look at the program, the, the ideas of connections between water and food are also extending to issues related to linkages between water and energy, water and land use, um, this whole idea of the nexus between these various components. Um, I think probably half of the sessions uh, in the program this year have some mention of the water, energy, food, land, ecosystem nexus in some combination. Um, and there's a lot of interesting work about conceptual frameworks for understanding the nexus and uh, trade-offs and synergies and potential conflicts between those various components. Uh, what we're particularly excited about this year is that um, under funding from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in the U.S., for the last two years we've been developing an analytical platform that links our previously existing WEEP water planning software and LEAP energy planning software. Um, these are two packages which are used in uh, many countries around the world to seek innovative water and energy management um, solutions, but they were operating in parallel. They weren't able to exchange information across um, the division between them. They weren't spanning the nexus. Um, and with the support of NOAA, we've been able to do the software engineering to allow them to transfer information between them. Now, for example, um, in energy planning, one of the things that might be particularly important is the about ability to generate hydropower. And in the previous energy planning um, models, you would just have to assume that there was some amount of hydropower available. Um, in WEEP now, you can actually determine how much hydropower is available um, based on the hydrology of the system and the way the infrastructure in the system is operated and the way water is allocated between different uh, water uses like hydropower generation, irrigation, urban water supply, environmental flows. Um, so if there's not enough hydropower to provide all the energy needs, then you might turn on thermal plants which have water requirements for the cooling. And so LEAP can inform WEEP as to how much water is required to operate those, those generation facilities. So we're very excited that we've created a tool and a platform that can begin to allow people to um, analyze what these trade-offs are in this water energy nexus, um, which is a significant, um, I think, step forward from the good work that's been done on developing conceptual frameworks to describe the nexus.